This non-tutorial tutorial video is about the difference between open and locking differentials. It's a very basic semi-informative video as to why anyone would choose to lock differentials. The purpose of a differential is to allow two wheels to spin at different speeds depending on certain situations. Here we will see why we may not want that to happen. This model has an open differential allowing both wheels to spin at different speeds. As you can see, the model fails to climb a simple curb. Let's back that up and try again, only with a lock differential. This model has the same differential, only locked. Watch as it climbs over the curb and continues running until the weight of the model and the limitations of the engine stop it from continuing forward. Please note that with a more powerful power plant, this model would have no trouble with the platform as an obstacle. Here, we see the model with the open differential fail to make a successful straight run over the same platform, platform, platform from before as a result of the wheels spinning at different speeds. It's getting late and I'm a bit tired. The model with a lock differential, however, continues over the platform with ease as both wheels continue to spin at the same speed to make a successful climb. Back to the open differential. Here, the model is stuck on three wheels. I've frozen it in order to properly demonstrate what happens. The wheel without traction spins freely while the wheel with traction fails to spin at all. Once again, we see the same situation with the locking differential. This also failed to get out of its stuck situation gracefully as a result of a lack of power in the motor. The locking differential was not the limitation in this case, and with a more powerful motor, would have allowed a driver to overcome the obstacle with ease. Lastly, I'll show how a switching a differential from open to locked makes all the difference in the world. This model is stuck freewheeling, but as soon as I turn on the lock, it pushes forward with relative ease. And there you have it. I hope these examples have helped you to understand why anyone would put a locking differential in their vehicle. Thank you for watching.